Previously on Paradise Falls. Just make it so I don't have to see your fucking face again. And I don't like you telling me you're a princess when you're just a guy with his dick cut off. I think you should go on a vacation. I can't leave the boutique. I'll take care of it. You are the registered owner of this business. Rose is going on holiday, so I'll be handling the sale myself. I killed my own brother. You were old, Ted. You weren't trying to kill him. But I did. Holy shit. If there's anything you want me to do for you, just ask. Welcome to the Paradise Falls Community Report. Today's weather, clear skies, calm waters. Another perfect day in Paradise Falls. with Nick. <laughs> Isn't that awful? No, I, I like older guys. We'll talk about this tonight. We can do a lot of things tonight. <laughs> You've got the whole world to choose from. London, Paris, Rome. Italian men are going to love you. You think? We have the main requirement. Which is? A pulse. Italy changes you forever. I so envy you. It's not that easy to just pick up and go. I have responsibilities here. I told you, I'll take care of everything. Don't listen to her. You go, you'll live to regret it. Shouldn't you be out poisoning apples or something? Rose deserves some time away. She's not your servant. She doesn't have to take care of me. I can take care of myself. Rosie, do you know where the tea is? Oh, I'll do it. I'm going to call my son, have him come over. I'm not going to be left alone with this one. I don't know. I guess if I did go, it wouldn't have to be for very long. Two weeks, three weeks tops. One quick call to the travel agent, you could be on a plane tomorrow. I don't know. You think I should go? No. And that's a professional opinion. <clears throat> You're not, um, still thinking of B, are you? No. No, we've got to do something about her. I mean, him. Don't worry, I plan to. Hey. Hey. You're gonna make me late. <laughs> That's the idea. See the guy in the road. I, I thought I hit a beaver for God's sake. Oh, Look, maybe we should just pay the blackmail. We don't have 50,000 cash. How come? All our money is in the movie. We can barely make payroll. And God, do you really think they're going to stop after one payment? Look, he might. God, what have I done? Busy? Not really. I'm just working on a hit and run that's going nowhere. I need to talk to you. 
Don't worry, it's not about us. Are you okay? It's not about me either. Not really. What is it? It's about that skeleton that you found in the graveyard. What about it? Do you know who it is? It's my brother. But Mummy needs you. Well, carrying you around for nine months wasn't very convenient either, but I did it. Don't you give me that tone of voice. You have no idea what it's like living here. They're hurting me. Thank you, son. I promised Franny I wouldn't tell you, but it's killing her. I've got to do something. If I tell you, you promise she's not going to go to jail? I can't promise that, but I will do everything I can. Franny was 10 or so, and the boy you found was eight or nine. His name was Billy. I was born the year he died. You were named after a dead child. It was an accident. They were playing on the shed roof. Franny pushed him. He fell and broke his neck. My mother made my father bury him in the cemetery so no one would know. Poor Francis. She thinks it's her fault. She's been keeping this a secret for 30 years. She's not going to jail, is she? There's no statute of limitations for manslaughter. It was an accident. She, she was a minor. But if it comes out, people are going to ask a lot of questions, especially around here. Neil Armstrong, what are you doing here? Rose, I must have the wrong house. Please tell me you're not Shirley's son, please. I'm afraid I am. You're my brother? I've dated my own brother? Technically, I'm your half-brother. I've kissed you. That's gotta be a sin. Neil, what are you doing standing out there? Come in. <sighs> I've seen him naked. Oh, this is all so sudden. <laughs> yes, of course I'll marry you. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Braga. <laughs> oh, I do. One hundred percent I do. <laughs> What do you want? I'd like to talk with Pete, please. Pete's not around. Well, if you see him, could you please tell him I'd like to speak with him? Pete doesn't want to talk to you. He doesn't even want to see you, and I don't blame him. Last night, he said to me it was like he hadn't been with a woman for years. <laughs> Come to think of it, he hadn't. We're both women, Jessica. But only one of us is a lady. B? You want to see my new ring? It's a little big. I think it was designed for someone with sausage fingers. You will come to the wedding, won't you? Pete's going to need a best man. Let me look at you. Turn around. Are those
those pants too tight? Why didn't you wear the pleated ones that I bought you? They look much better on you. I don't need help getting dressed. I am a grown man. I know you're a grown man. Don't be silly. Come sit near mommy. So what's the big emergency? There's no emergency now that you're here. But you said they were trying to hurt you? They have no regard for personal property. That hurts me here. I get up in the morning, Mr. Beauregard is on his side. That's it? No, that's not it. I was also pushed down the stairs. You were? Why didn't you call me? I didn't want to worry you. The doctor said I could have been paralyzed. I need you to move in for a couple of weeks. Rose is going on vacation, and I will not live in this house with that B-I-T-C-H. Look, I can't. I just got a new apartment. It won't be for long, just until Rose gets back. You can have my room. Go check it out. Look, I don't want to check it out. Go check it out. I don't think that's asking too much. It's at the top of the stairs, the one with the rose-colored wallpaper. It's for your own good, Franny. You promised. Look at you, you almost killed yourself the other night. <laughs> it was an accident. She just wants to talk to you. I'm here as family, not as a police officer. I'll talk to her, I'm not talking to you, Judas. He was just trying to help. He loves you. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I just got off the phone with the travel agency. You can get a ticket to Milan for tomorrow. Isn't that fantastic? Milan, Italy? No, Milan, Alberta. Of course, Milan, Italy. Fashion Mecca. I don't know if I should go. I'm still in mourning. Jerome would want you to go. His name was Tyrone. I don't think it's too soon. You can grieve in Milan. If you're going to cry, you might as well cry somewhere nice. Rosie. Can you go get Neil? It's almost tea time. He's up in my room. Hmm. Well, what's he doing there? Just checking it out. I want him to have the nice room. I haven't said I'm sorry yet. I shouldn't have surprised you with Samuel. That was stupid. Are you angry at me? I was. I'm not anymore. I wasn't trying to hurt you. Oh, I know that. I should have told you a long time ago. I, I wanted to, but I couldn't. I guess I was scared. What did you think I was going to do? Hate you? I could never hate you. You're my flower. <laughs> I just keep telling myself who I was doesn't exist anymore. I am B. I am not Bob. And then I look into Samuel's eyes and I... You cannot wipe away your past. I have messed up my life so badly. forgive you. Why should he? <laughs> and then this Pete, I mean, Pete won't even talk to me anymore. Then I find out today that... I found out today that Pete is going out with Jessica. He's going out with Jessica? She's psycho. It was my fault. I was supposed to be looking after him. You were just a kid yourself. He was teasing me, and I just wanted him to stop. One mistake of my whole life's fucked. Would there be anyone who could corroborate your story? 
Uh, mother died uh, not long after Roxy was born, and Dad died a long time before that. No one else knew. I've been keeping diaries my whole life. Whole stories in there. Could I see them? Well, it's private. I'm family. I'm trying to help you. We both are. Neil, your mother wants to see you. Oh, my God. Lord. Would you put some clothes on? Your mother is downstairs. She doesn't like my clothes. Maybe I should just walk around like this. You cannot go downstairs looking like that. I'm only being natural. You know that, Rose. I'm being who I am. Well, can't you be somebody else? Please, please put some underwear on, Neil. Fine. Thank you. Now, why are you walking up around here naked? Because every time I'm around that woman, I just want to rip all my clothes off. She's so suffocating. Don't you find her that way? Well... She just wants to keep me under her thumb. I think the only reason she named me Neil is so that I'd be a failure all my life. Oh, no, I don't believe that. Really? If I find the cure for cancer, I'll still be that famous guy with the same name as that more famous guy who walked on the moon. Well, why don't you go by a different name? What's your middle name? Louis. Louis Armstrong? Mother likes jazz. Neil, I think it's time that we both grew up. Did what we want to do, not what Shirley says we should do. If you want to go to Milan, then you should just go to Milan. I don't want to go to Milan. I want to open a nude bed and breakfast. Swimming, tennis, kayaking. Nude kayaking? It's very popular. Oh. Well, then that's what you should do. You're right. I'm going to tell her right now. This is not a good time, Nick. I want to talk about B. Oh, I don't. She lied. End of story. She lied about her past, not about who she really was. She was a man. That's a big fucking thing to forget to mention. It's not like saying, oh, by the way, I was an accountant. The woman used to have a dick. You were going to marry her. I'm trying real fucking hard to forget about that. What about all your speeches about family and loyalty, huh? When you were in jail, she stuck by you. This is how you repay her? Why don't you like women? I like women. You know what I mean. What has this got to do with anything? Just humor me. I don't know why. I'm gay, that's why. It's just who I am. Well, don't ask me to love B, because that's just who I am. You want me to accept you, then you bloody well better start accepting me. What about Jess? I hear you're getting pretty serious with her. Is that to get even with me or just to get it be? I don't want to talk about Jess. We're just friends. She's fun to be around with. That's all she is. Right. Of course not. Neil is staying over. Go as long as you like. I don't think I can stay either. But Neil, Mommy needs you. You can't walk out on me now. Don't you want me to be happy? No, not now. You can be happy later. I need you here. I can't. I'm sorry. Neil, I'm scared for my own life. No one's going to hurt you. I talked to Rose. She says you'll be fine. What does she know? She's the one that threw me down the stairs. Then I guess you better be nice to her. Thank you, Rose. When I open my bed and breakfast, you're the first person I'm going to invite. 
I'll be there. Maybe. See ya, Mommy. Looks like it's going to be just you and me. The whole story's in here. I want them back, though. I'll take good care of them, I promise. One more thing. There's some stuff in there that Billy doesn't need to know about. Do you understand? Yeah. Just give me a couple days, okay? Let me see what I can do. It wasn't your fault. It'll be okay. Thank you. You're welcome. If you want, you can come back to the house and read those. Okay. <laughs> I see someone who needs a scotch. You are not gonna believe who came by the house today. Try me. B, I told her straight out, you don't wanna see her. That's my girl. After all you've been through, you don't need more people laughing at you. Who's laughing? Everyone is. I mean, she was a man. <laughs> hey, look what I found on the dresser today. <laughs> You're a sly one, did you leave that for me? What? Sure. <laughs> no one's gonna laugh at you when they see me with this. They're gonna think you're hot. <laughs> and who knows? In a couple of months, I was supposed to be Mrs. Braga anyway. And now, I have the ring. Somewhere in the morning mist The world begins with someone's kiss Thunders no one else is seen Inside a place where no one's been 